otherwise <laughs> there I was in New York City but do I say <laughs> I met some Kenyans and happily introduced myself I said hello my name is Betty Muragori and I'm so glad to meet you and this one guy looked at me and said hello my name is John and I'm a Luo. <laughs> I said, but why are you telling me your tribe? And he said, you said your name is Betty and you are a Maragoli. <laughs> Language of tribe. I am well versed in the language of tribe having acquired the script long ago from my family, my friends, from my whole existence as a Kenyan, really. And I speak it with fluent authority. There may be times when I look different, special, as if the language of tribe were beyond my understanding. After all, I didn't marry somebody from my tribe. My children speak only English. And my friends, well, they're from everywhere. I have Kamba friends, Kikuyu friends, Kalenjin friends. I have Luo friends, Kisi friends. I have KC friends. <laughs> Somali friends. And I even have an Indian friend or two. Hmm. But this is a false impression. I am like everyone else. This uncomfortable truth led me on a journey. I wanted to know, what is this thing called tribe? Really? This thing that has us all by the neck? What, what does it look like? How does it feel? How do we live with it? Laughing one moment with my tribal protagonist. Mash, Vipi, how oh, this poor man poured. And the next, looking at each other across a wide abyss, a yawning space, unbridgeable by the smiles of my former friends. Hmm. Hmm. If tribe, if tribe were a taste, a sound, a feeling, a, a thing alive, how would it be? My experience of tribe is sharp acid on the tongue, clanging metallic noises. A rising tide of ill will, a watchful expectation of ugly tribe rearing its head, reaching out to grab a cake for itself. Eat quickly, greedily. Tribe grates loudly in my ears. It must be heard. It has me believing it's natural, as inevitable as Ugali and Sukumawiki. Hmm. Tribe. Tribe makes me act secretly. I hide myself in full public view. I, I read the newspapers, watch behind the news, scan the streets, count the members of the church council, on and on and on. I tally the number of times my tribe emerges. When the appearance is favorable, I smile. <laughs> in my mind, I add up all mounting disadvantage to store in my prized basket of tribal grievance. Me, I am expert at computation. 0.2% of my tribe in the cabinet. 3% of my tribe at church. 76.7% of my tribe at my place of work. Yes. Ah, I am no longer conscious of what I do. You see, I am victim, innocent, but for the tribal designs of you others. The truth. The truth is revealed in broiling ethnic conclaves. Here, secrets of the heart are safe. I bring my hush-hush bliss 
to the fore, the bliss of playing victim, to bemoan with relish my miserly pickings, condemn with glee the crumbs I feed on, while others hog the national cake. Wiper, wiper. I'm white. I'm above all this crap. Reke Marie. Virikari Neito. Virikari Neao. Neito. Shua.